And so when you go live, I'll see you go live. Excellent. All right, we should be live. Hang on, I just sent a yep, it's myself building right now. Excellent. Hello. I see Hello, you. chat room. Hello, everybody. Um, hang on, I keep forgetting. Hello, peeps. Hey, peeps. All right, take my take my headband off. All right. Hey guys, uh, you can hear everything. Okay. Uh, let me just do a quick test. We are, uh, streaming both, um, me behind and stir. <laughs> I always get it wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere there. All right. Yeah, um, jump, 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 jump in the air. Okay. And does she? Uh, she did I? I was gonna say, hang on, I, I can't. Hit. Yours? Okay. There we go. Yep, there you That's, go. All right. Okay, because it's on my main screen and I've got everything else in front of it. Like, if you can see my screens, guys, it's completely hilarious. Because I've got, obviously, I've got Twitter over here. I've got WoW, the show notes, XSplit. I've got the Twitch. voice stuff. Stir I've got everything <laughs> everywhere. It's just like crazy. So, um, you need, so yeah. You need two more computers. That's what you I need. need. Two more computers. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, we have some screens up here. <laughs> it's to me like uh, no one would come and see me. It'd be like I'm in like little liters cave. <laughs> I'm having <laughs> monitors oh, everywhere. Well, yes. I, I'm hoping that uh, Execute has, you know, a good collection of computers that he's bringing <laughs> to, to, to your personal party. <laughs> mm, yeah, no, yeah. Not <laughs> quite, yes. I, all I know, oh. he, he likes my setup, and I, I'm like, you do not touch this. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> like, okay. well, we're we're going to lay down the rules. Rule number one. Rule number <laughs> okay. one, yeah. Feed yeah. leader coffee all the time. He knows that one. Right. Rule number two. two don't do, touch these computers. Don't touch the computer. That's right. All right, <laughs> hang on. Let me fill up the coffee because it feels like I'm, I'm uh, yeah, comp battle showdown exactly all right uh let me do one quick test and then we'll start so you guys can hear this copy is my blood all right and you shouldn't be able to hear the game with me you can hear that all right well i think we're i think we're good to go so um let's let's do this we're ready sir ready freddy all right let's do this in five Four, three. Iron Man. Bloodthirsty. Wow. Pacifist. You're listening to the WoW Challenges podcast, the home of the Iron Man Challenge. Hello and welcome to the WoW Challenges podcast. This is episode 219. Today is Saturday, June the 6th, 2020. Oh my lordy, where has this year been? It's just gone crazy. Or can we just start it all over again? <laughs> I yeah. think so. I think we might have to. It's crazy. Anyway, I am your host, Lita. Joining me this week over on this side and down on down here is Stir. Stir is co-hosting with me this week. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm it's, good. It's, I'm like, here. it's freedom. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's like... At least this part of the world, they're saying, okay, you guys can come out of your shell mm -hmm. you know, a little bit. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit like that. They're starting slightly, you know, letting some of the restrictions lifting at over here as well. So it's all, you know, it's going to be probably a while before we get back to that uh, little bit of, um, of, normalcy but um you know we're getting there it's been it has been a pretty crazy few months so um 
It's so yeah, house. as long as everyone's been safe, that's you know that's the main thing, and no one got sick, which is which is good. So, all right. Um, okay, so yeah, that was me, Nisi. <laughs> it was like I got everything ready, and of course, Lita didn't mute the phone and the other stuff. So it's yeah, look, it's one of those things. It's Sunday morning over here, and where. I'm awake. It's it's been a crazy couple of days. So anyway, and and, and you're not in pajamas. That's, I'm not. You know, hey. I did. Uh, I was thinking about a pajama party, and I was like, you know what? It's a bit late to be doing that because if we're going to do a pajama party, we're going to do it right. But you know what? I have that thought for another time. So I think we will have to have a pajama party. Uh, one episode, so um, like full on j pajama party. So yeah, we 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 will definitely do that. But anyway, uh, as we digress into you know all the shenanigans, uh guys, welcome. Thank you for chat room. Hi, chat room, everyone for joining us. Appreciate that. Stir and I here to talk all things well challenges, which is the. Yes, yes which is the great thing. However, we're also doing a, another little impromptu um, recording uh, down at, where are we, Stir? You tell them, what What are we doing? Uh, well, you're dancing. Worm. Okay, well, <laughs> worm rest accord. Head down to Goldshire. And we, we picked Goldshire because it's so easy to get to from Stormwind, even if you have to create a level one tune you can get to goldshire without dying so come on over yes. join the party we, yes. there's more room on the fence fur is already here and and some dude who has been hitting on me so uh, <laughs> hey, <it's>, uh, <laughs> so, uh, of course yeah, we need we need that song dude looks like a lady it's yeah, a good so. song. Love Aerosmith. Yeah. Awesome song. Uh, but yeah, guys, so we, we figured we would throw a little, you know, just a little impromptu um, gathering. Uh, obviously, if you've got a pacifist tune, please don't bring your pacifist tune down here. But we are on Wormrest Accord uh, US servers. So if you want to pop down, we'll be hanging out here uh, for the next. Uh, just while the show's on so feel free we just we just thought we'd shake things up we normally always go to booty bay and as much as we love booty bay sometimes you know if if people want to quickly make a tune and, and come on over uh then we don't want you having a full run <laughs> from from you know from human starting area or something like that so um so yeah so the more the merrier yeah. come on over if you'd like to we're hanging outside and, uh, the famous gold child in we're, we're celebrating you know because it's it's summer it's starting to be summer here in the states and yes. europe and uh uh so i guess the northern hemisphere and mm -hmm. uh, i just made some fried chicken by uh hitting a gold char chicken with uh, sunfire so <laughs> boom nice so yes no <laughs> no passies <laughs> chickens will chickens will die tonight exactly exactly so if you've got an iron a green you know a tin a scout if you just want to make a tune and pop on over then the more the merrier come on over and see us uh, we're just hanging out sorry i'm because i'm multi-screening uh with all the things i <laughs> I'm a nice lookster. Uh, I, I'm not paying attention to, so if you're saying hi to me, I can't see you or hear you other than what I can kind of see on the screen at the moment. But um, yeah, come on over and say hi. But like you said, it's, it's summer. You guys are going into summer, which means, hey, winter is coming. Well, technically for me, winter is now here. <laughs> and... It, it is. I don't get all the fun snow and things like that. I'm sure you guys say it's not fun. But for someone who does not deal with snow, because I am in Queensland, Australia, which is known as the Sunshine State, <laughs> we don't get snow. Not in Brisbane <laughs> at all. Yeah. So, um, just, just the cold, huh? So, yeah, and my level of cold obviously is probably a to no degree what you guys would get for your winter. <laughs> but for me, it's 
gold. So, um, sure. so yeah, so I think it's about, uh, 10, 10, 30, maybe 12 degrees outside at the moment. That's, um, Celsius, uh, there's a bit of a wind, so it's making a bit, bit bitey. But, um, you know, like if Stone was here, he'd probably be like, shorts weather. <laughs> it's like, it's good stuff. And I'm oh. like going, oh, it's cold. So, yeah. yeah that and teenagers <clears throat> will be outside trying to get a tan anyway, even at the house. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. But anyway, uh, so I thought we'd start this episode with having just a, a little chat. We, we don't have a guest today. We're having a little impromptu party and all that kind of thing. So I had a couple of questions that I thought um, that we both could answer. Stir, I, I thought it might sure. be a, a good one for, for both of us to have a, a chat about what we're doing. So I want to know from you first off, that what challenges are you focused off and and we know you know you you've uh, pretty pretty hardcore into iron man uh so but i know you've delved a little bit so i'm i'm curious to see where we're up to with what you've been doing and then what goals because we know shadowlands is coming this year we know that it it's is. it's going to happen at some stage. What that stage is, we don't know at the moment. But I want to know what you're focused on currently and what you want to have done before you know by the time Shadowlands gets here. Okay. Well, you know, I actually should check to see if Assy's on on the podcast because this next statement is going to just just you know blow his mind. And that is, you remember the contest that just ended and mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of like hunter it's uh and so i'm still playing it my what <laughs> i know uh mic drop um so you know the contest hunter is still in fact uh, i just hit 94 and i'm nice. still playing survival spec which is kind of funny because uh, all my guildies are saying uh dude you don't have to stay with survival now that the contest is over but mm -hmm. for me it's melee and so might as well you know keep playing what you know and yep. and it works and and now that i've learned that you can allow your pet to die who knew i can run away while the pet dies so mm -hmm. you know send it's, the it's pet in so, that's that's so, that's it yeah so, yeah so i'm i got the garrison uh opened um I was just, uh, I told the others, I said, well, wait, if you're survival, how did you get your hunter to open up that cave dude, you know, right outside your, to get your garrison going? Yeah. And, well, well, um, as it turns out, I was just in front of the cave, mm -hmm. enjoying a latte, minding my own <laughs> business, when another player happened to come along and my weapon, I forgot to put the uh, safety on, so it accidentally went off and tagged the the dude in the cave mm -hmm. so you know my bad mm -hmm. but now my now my garrison is open and yes for all those you listening you're not supposed to do that but you know you know if you're survival hunter or if you're if you're melee anything <laughs> sometimes you know, about, the gun's yeah, just got a mind of its own you know you it just it it's just like bang <laughs> oh oops Oop, dude oops, sorry, sorry. <laughs> slash wave you know that was that was me, and then I'm working on another druid, so I got my druid up to uh, to ninety now. Mm -hmm. so, nice. Uh, and that and she's she's playing on iron, so mm -hmm. uh, you know between the two. Yeah. And let me tell you, you, you know, I, for, I tip my hat to the players, like like Fur, and Zaya, and Cell, and Brittle, and and and, and all the regulars who can switch from one major class to another on a dime. Mm -hmm. These guys, they just, they, they just, they go, you know, okay, I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a mage. I'm going to switch over to rogue or druid. And you're like, you know, the play style is so different between yeah. classes. It's like, how do these people do it? You know, yeah. cause I'm, I'm hitting the wrong keys and, and uh, thinking, not thinking, you know, for the class that you're playing and stuff yeah. like that. It's just, it's dangerous, at least mm -hmm. for me. So, yes. So that's it. But 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 what about you? What are you focused on? Uh oh, in game. There's 
There's so many things. Um, first off, I just want to say, Frasley, thank you so much for the host and for the sub. That's very, very sweet of you. So thank you so much for that. Um, in game, it's been a bit crazy. I've got, you know, just a baby Passy because, um, uh, Passy, you know, Passy is life. Uh, not quite as life as coffee is, you know, coffee is life. Passy is life. You know, so there's a, see what I did there? It's the tone. It's the tone of voice that you use. Um, so, so yeah, so baby Passy's going okay. Um, I've been on a bit of, bit of a working man kick. Uh, I need to get back to the bloods. I've been neglecting the bloods, the irons and the greens, but you know, uh, as an alcoholic, you just, yeah, what can you do? There's only so many days to do things. So, um, and so many hours with the limited time that, I, that I've got at the moment. So, so yeah, it's just been trying to do like picking herbs and doing some cooking and fishing dailies and, and all of that. So, um, so we're, we're getting there. I mean, Goals wise, honestly, I would just like to not kill any tunes off. That would be my goal. <laughs> but we all know that's uh, going to happen. So um, I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just more a plodding thing. I, I think uh, I, I just like to plod and, you know, because one of those things is, is nice to be able to just be like, oh, shiny, I go this way. Because, you know, focus leader, the, yeah, it doesn't often happen. So a lot of times I'm like over here and I'm like, oh, so yeah, let's go this way. And then, you know, two hours later, I'm like, oh, hang on. I was supposed to be back over over here doing something. And it's like, oh, bleh, let's go do something else. So, um, so yeah, it's it's a, a bit like that. So I, I'm just more just having, you know, just plodding along, taking it easy. Sure. Yeah, trying to make sure everything's okay between IRL and in-game. And yeah, I think that's that. Focus, what is that, says Fair. Exactly. Fresley's like, he struggles yeah. with focus. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, you know. Play to your strengths. Yeah. Well, that's that's why I'm an well, alcoholic. <laughs> I, but you haven't died lately. That's good. So you're doing it right. Yes. Well, yes. Actually, and you know what? I did not kill off my contest tune, so I'm really, I'm really pleased about that. I actually made it through a whole contest without killing one off. I don't know if I've done that for a little while. So to get to the end of the contest and be like, "Yay, I'm, I'm still alive," uh, is is great. Um, and I think, what did I hit? I think I hit about 44 or 45 on the contest yeah. soon. So um, I've got a feeling I normally am about mid 30s sometimes sure. it's it hasn't been over 40 on a contest tune for a little while i've got a feeling but um but yeah so i was like yay, yay. <laughs> super happy yay yeah. hey you know <laughs> speaking of contest look <laughs> did did you beat stone this last contest well i did i did because oh, you okay. know you know because um i win because he didn't roll a tune so tough oh, leader wins by default damn it i need default. to make a banner that just flashes up and i can press it and just be like we leader wins goes right across the screen note to self okay everyone you need to remind me uh i'm gonna put a banner i'm writing it down because otherwise i'll forget Lita yeah. wins there we go that will be that one <laughs> That might be the show title. <laughs> Lita wins. <laughs> Stone loses. <laughs> Just later wins. That sounds good. Um, if, so, so yeah. And hmm. Yeah, and if you're listening, Stone, love you, man. <laughs> Hi, you, Stone. He's probably unless he's lurking, but uh, he might be busy. So, um, so yeah. So that's what I've been up to. Uh, like currently or lately which is which is a lot of fun um but for you so my next question 
<clears throat> which uh, this is one a new question that um, Nisi, I think this was a, a Nisi one that she gave me and I thought, you know what, that is a really good question. Because uh, a lot of times I don't remember what questions I asked you as, you know, as sometimes you're just chatting. This is the whole thing. You're chatting and I just throw questions at you and a lot of times I, I forget what I've asked in the, you know, in, in, in the chat. Um, Azzy, where's your late note? Seriously, dude, like, I know you're giving apologies, but I don't know, Stir, I don't know, will we accept it? <laughs> this time, you know, this time. This time, um, so, this time, yeah. yeah. So, Come on down to Goldshire, so, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll pat you on the head and say, okay, good, Azzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so my question for you is this. So you've been playing Challenge Tunes for a while. Hang on, let me use the for a while. <laughs> Air quotes. I know what that code is. That's code <laughs> for old. old oh, player. that's 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 a code for you've been around for a while. Yes. Uh, so yeah. on your challenge journeys, whether it's your current ones or on ones that you've you've played and either got to max or or lost do you look at your journey or do you look at things that you've done and do you wish that you'd done anything differently? Um, yes. And, and I think that's going to be true if you were to ask that of everybody who's, who's been on the show that say the same thing. Mm. Cause, cause think about it. The, every expansion has changed the challenge. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we've had to adjust, we've had to change rules. We've had to, uh, change our play styles you know as as the expansions change and yeah and so there's 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 one thing that's going on right now and and you know i'm hoping the other players are are taking advantage of it and that is the 100 percent bonus the you know that mm -hmm. that alone is nice. so changing i mean mm -hmm. you know we we've all grumbled over the expansions of how um some things are harder or or slower or um just more tedious or you know and and you still have some of that in some of the zones but right now with double xp mm -hmm. if you're questing man you can zoom you it just seems like some levels like the 80s are a blur i mean when you yeah. hit 80 it just boom you're 90 before you know it in fact i think it was cell who said in guild chat, yeah, I did it in an afternoon, you know, 80 to, to 90. And you're like, wow, yeah, I can believe it. it's, it's just so yeah. fast. And, and, um, and when you hit, it seems like you hit some of the other uh, expansion or level uh, boundaries. Like when you hit level 35, boom, it's another kick. You know, the gas pedal goes down. It yeah. just seems like so many zones open up. It's like, you know, boom. So, folks take advantage of it um mm -hmm. leveling is faster you run, in fact you will run out of levels before you run out of content in an area i mean you'll just you'll just you'll be hitting you'll be dinging a border you know like an expansion border like 35 or 60 <laughs> mm -hmm. 70 and you're like well but i didn't finish that quest chain nope you don't need to now mm. because you're now in another you know kind of Kind of position so um just just take advantage of it and cherry pick the the quests that you know are safe mm -hmm. that are easy you know you know you could go kill those 20 you know where it tells you to kill 20 things or kill or get 10 alpha war tails you know yeah. or, or those those mere fin heads those things have a horrible drop rate well yeah then skip it you don't need to do it you know yeah. it's not going to yeah, so, mm -hmm. so that's I guess I guess that's one, mm -hmm. and then yep. um, the other thing, and I think one of your other guests in a in an earlier podcast said, um, you know, we we've always had our leveling path. You know, maybe you start in in uh, the the night elf area, and then you head over to as soon as you clear that, you, maybe you go over to Goldshire and do that, mm -hmm. then Westfall, and then oh, I'll go over to Loch <clears throat> Modan. Mm -hmm. Well, today, if you do that, you're going to be hitting Loch Modan in your 30s, possibly even your 40s, because the levels go by so fast. Mm -hmm. 
And when you get to some of these bosses, like the foreman, you know, the dude in the cave that throws that firebomb at you. Yes. Uh, he he will kick your ass. Mm -hmm. if, you're in your, if you're in your 40s or 50s, when you take him on, well, yep, you have more spells, but so does he. Yeah. And uh, he's a lot tougher, so... You really need to go if you if you really want to take him out and you want to go do Lakamo Dan, then you need to make almost like your second zone. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you're going to have to cut your leveling path short to get over there while you're still in your teens, mm -hmm. uh, just just because of the nature of it right now. So yeah, I ended up I had ended up almost skipping Lakamo Dan, which is crazy. That's my <gasps> normal. What? That's my normal. I know, what? but it's like. I, but I'm but but mm. but I'm I'm already 45 or and I'm you know I'm way up in yeah. eastern lake lands and something it's like I don't have time for Loch Modan and mm. that dude in the cave so then you you think oh you know how bad can it be so you go over there <laughs> and before you know it you're running out of the cave screaming because he's yep. just kicking your butt mm -hmm. so so anyway right. take advantage yes and and adjust your leveling path right now because of it mm -hmm. uh, so that's what i've learned what well what about you what if you looking back you've done you know someone said in chat focus but what would you do, <laughs> do no. differently never focus um okay well hang on I, I, a couple things i just want to address on on what you've said which i completely agree and again look it is we're in a very very unusual time as challenge players because blizzard normally does not give us a buff that we cannot get rid of so for us i think this would be what about the first time ever that we've had a buff that we can not do anything about so the winds of wisdom um we've all got it it's basically go forth level you're not getting flagged because when it comes down to it we can't remove it most times blizzard gives something like at anniversary time that buff you know is you put it on yourself or they'll give a a, a buff and you can right click it off on this one we can't do that so everyone's got it oh anyone got marshmallows Okay, anyone? <laughs> Bring your marshmallows, please. That would be, that would good. Hot cocoa, coffee, please. More coffee. I've got my coffee. More it's coffee. my blood. Um, yeah, so it, it is a very unusual time for us to have this. And everyone seems to be taking, taking, you know, just, just grabbing it and just running with it, which is, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And the other thing, um, thinking about Loch Modan, if you don't kill Foreman and and finish that quest, then a lot of the zone itself won't open up. So what you can do is go and do the starting quest in Loch Modan while you're a low level, be able to manage to kill him still be very careful because he is he is nasty but the higher you go the nastier he gets um yes. open up the zone and you can always come back and you know which is which is always a, a a good way to go but pretty much if you don't if you don't kill him and finish that quest and take his head back and and be like here he, you know like here he is um most of those yeah. other quests are not going to open up for you. So no. so yeah. if you do it low, come back to it. And that's a good thing. We can jump around. As as an iron, a green, you know, as, as doing all of that, you can jump around now and jump around that's from true. your zones. You don't have to complete. We're not completionists which is the you know the things that we have to remember if you're doing iron man to be a completionist please don't because it's it's not going to work that way it's just a matter of you know you just want to get from 1 to 120 green flagged uh and and that's the that's the goal so yes well, one of the things i did for lock modan this time on the contest hunter mm. is when i was still low level i went over there and grab the six document quests mm -hmm. and uh you know one of them's in a cave and 
and another one is near uh, all those trogs and stuff like that. But yeah. while th while they're low level, you can take them out. Mm -hmm. Go get those six document quests yep. and hang on to them. Yeah. Because then when you're around, like if you're a druid, when you hit 57, turn them in, boom, you're 58. You now have flight and off you go. Yeah. And it just zooms. And if you're if you're uh, anything else than druid, when you hit 59, do the same thing and boom, mm. you're 60 and off you go. So it, exactly. it, right now with the double XP, those six document quests which and the seventh Huge. bonus gets you a level a level and a third so mm -hmm. it's like save them save them for, save for them. getting you over the the, the hump yeah the old world Abs thing. absolutely i i my i my ocd doesn't allow me to do that um holding on to quests in my quest <laughs> log is not a not something i am very good at doing it's kind of like i get to lock modan and and it's like got a hand of me i tried i did try was that with um uh, might have been with the contest tune or it might have been with this girl which is my working man I tried to hold it. I think I held on to him for about two or three levels, and I was just like, "No, I've got to get rid of it." <laughs> so, back to lock mode and handed in. I think I got like two and a half or three levels, and I was like, "Boo, yeah, that's cool." So, Ooh, yeah, yeah. But... I had to go look up. I had to go look up OCD, and it stands <laughs> for. So, Ur Urban Dictionary says other critter deaths. Okay, so, all right. So you, you're killing critters, huh? Kill, killing critters, except if you're a pacifist, do not do that. So, I, anyway, things that I would do differently, um, not die, <laughs> would be would be the good one. Uh, I you have some, you have some of the most you have the some of the best deaths. I do. You know? I have some really good deaths. You know, the time that I drowned in uh, wetlands. Or that was awesome. Or fall asleep on the keyboard, or oh just... yes, there's 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 many there's many 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 actually. Um, but at the time I back actually let's go back to the very 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 first tune and ah oh, damn oh. I meant to. So the very first iron that I made. So we're going back and I. I found, uh, I'm not going to look it up now because I've got too many screens open, but I'll, I'll try and look for it for next week. I found uh, the screenshot of my very first iron, which of course was an undead warlock. Um, I hadn't gotten into my naming convention of iron leader or blood leader or anything. It was just leader. She was an undead warlock and I think it was about 36 and uh, I found her. I also found the screenshot where I she must have, she's dead. I've stripped her. I've taken the screenshot of the login screen with her naked, and and you know I'm deleting her. And I was like, oh, so um, yeah. So I was over in Hillsbrad, and and um, you know you know the rises where they've got uh back. We're going back. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm up there and I'm, I'm doing a quest and I'm, I'm seeing the, you know, the NPCs are patting around and I'm backing up and I'm just going, okay, am I in range? Uh, no, no. Okay. Back up, back up, back. I dead. I fell off. I, uh, I, uh, yeah. I fell off. <laughs> yeah that was that was awesome so um so yeah so i i did find the screenshot for that so i try and remember to pull that out and i'll i'll show you next week but yeah she was on she was under warlock and, and we're going back to i think the date on that was to i'm gonna say 2012 so yeah so i've got a lot <laughs> Got a lot of uh, screenshots, guys. <laughs> it's probably a lot. Mm. You've been around the block a few times. I have, yes, yeah. yes. So, um, so, yeah. So, uh, you know, and it, 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 we always say, look, a death is a learning curve. You know, you die and you learn. And we all, as much as a death, they can be really, really hard. Uh, you've got to take it you know take from that and learn things of what not to do and quests you know it's a good way to know well what quests not to do 
And I, I think though the hardest thing, the one thing that I would really change out of all the tunes that I've played, out of all the things that I would do, actually two things. I've got two things that I'd change. One uh, would be that I, I should have tried Pacifist way earlier. Fair I apologies. It's t it took me quite a few years to come around, but I do, I do love my Passy. I love the Passy, my God! I can't believe how I'm saying that, but I am, I am a huge lover of playing a pacifist. I never thought that was going to be the case, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I gave it a go. And you know what? I've got what? Uh, so we've got a Max. We've got a uh, well. I've got a dead one, but I've got another baby. You know, and she's she's making there. So um, so that would be one thing. The second thing I would have to say is learning, and and it's a team thing. So I've been I've been playing on a team with Execute for for a while. Uh, but one of the most roughest deaths, and I think it's probably the worst death that I have had, it was when I got myself and him killed. And it is really, really, it really hurts when you've got a teammate or teammates. When it's yourself and you're playing a solo tune, yeah, those deaths hurt. But you've only got, you know, you're not having to think of anyone else. It's it's you, you're dead, you're like, right, okay, gather my thoughts, let's go again. When you've got a teammate, uh, definitely, you know, that kind of amplifies. And as, as much as, you know, can I just say shit happens, uh, but you make it, you make a bad decision, a bad call, um, and you get, you know, you, you get yourself or, or both of you dead. And, um, I would say that, yeah, so if I had my time over, cause what did we get? We got to 70 something on those tunes and, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's a, it is a, it's a really cruddy, cruddy feeling. It's so cruddy to to feel that you've you know that leaving leaving that kind of thing when you get yourself killed for um with your team so i would i would change that i would i would change some of the decisions that I, that i made but um sure. and, and rude's correct never blame the other person hey look it was all me <laughs> I can tell you yeah. that it was all me. Um, and he, look, he, he never blames me on anything. And, you know, and that's good. But they, they were stupid things. And again, a death is a lesson learned. However, it can be really, really hard and, and hurt. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, that would be the thing. But if you've not ever tried a team, try it it is it is a lot of fun an iron team is good fun is definitely so much fun so um so yeah if you get to try one go forth and and try that um yeah, yeah. so and, but anyway and and here's one for new players and and we see it often in the guild and that is a uh, new player will join the challenge and, and it's like yay fresh blood and, and mm -hmm. hey come on in and and um, they spent so much time trying to come up with the perfect tune name and you're like well you know you're gonna die right and and they hate it when you say that you know it's like I'm not gonna die mm -hmm. uh, no actually you are in fact you're going to die a, a gruesome death but you're going to learn from it and uh, you know so so use your worst name mm -hmm. you know, so the first time you roll in the challenge I, let it be random or or yes. just you know just smack a couple of letters together and call it good because then your second or third tune eh, that can be the perfect name yeah uh, as you as you go there is but. have we actually had anyone make it iron wise i'm just trying to think was it was it bikini babe no who who did actually roll the there was someone who did did an iron and they did not die it was their first tune was it iron? That's a great. Was it a good 
trivial question. Never died. Was it never died? I, I'm going to say it was... Yeah. There has only been... I, I think there's only been one for Ryan. Um, I'm going to say blood. I don't think we've had anyone do a blood... Who's never played a bloodthirsty and gone from one to max? Um, yeah. Maybe I I don't remember. Um, Pacifist, yeah. I'm gonna say fair. Did you get your first tune that you made as a passy, or had you died? Um, yeah. So yeah. I, I first passy was yes, you did. You did make yep. it. So fair's done it. Um, I've done it. <laughs> uh, my first ever passy. Oh my god! Again, I've got a max level passy. What the hell? Um, yeah. So the chances are, you know, MP, and it's lovely to see new people and all of that, and you know, welcome aboard and come have some fun and good luck. But the chances are that you're gonna die. You know, so please be prepared yeah. for it. Otherwise, there's gonna be a lot of flip table. And rage quit. So we, yeah. we we have seen this time and time again. It's learning, you know. Again, people have to remember it is a different play style. You do not play these tunes like you play a normal tune, because um, otherwise you'll be dead. <laughs> you die. Yep. Yeah. So because yeah, mm. death is just an inconvenience when you're on a regular tune. It's, it's that's a good one. Death is it, just an inconvenience i love it isn't it though and you know it's soul crushing when you're mm -hmm. iron or you know a challenger it's like oh man i can't spell inconvenience uh, or there we go. Look. Like they said in the movie you'll shoot your eye out kid it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> well you're gonna die exactly be be prepared for it and you know what if you don't die then yay awesome but be prepared for it yeah, because because yeah. it does happen and again we're talking from two people uh as i said stir has been playing this game a long time uh and and doing challenge tunes for a long time currently what have you got at max how many irons have you got maxed uh brr, what two maybe three two three um yeah and then a green and a ten and a you know, a little mm -hmm. bit of everything. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm following the never died model. You know, get one of everything up there. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, so yeah, so you know, we we kind of have an idea what we're talking about, guys. Sometimes, <laughs> most of the time. Anyway, uh, how's your week? How's your week been? Let's let's talk about our our week, week. our actual weeks. How our how has week. it been? So, so um. You know, you, you keep skirting the issue that in real life, you've been really busy. Well, mm -hmm. kind of the same this week. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in Michigan and Michigan uh, made it, um, got on the map uh, when in the middle of the state, two dams uh, failed and flooded uh, the communities downstream of it. And, oh, uh, now yes. Was, yes. Now, I was mm. not part of the communities I, so I, I skirted that part of it yeah but because I'm in driving range of it uh, I've gone over and I've been volunteering and helping folks dig out uh, their basements and mm -hmm. and helping folks um, with uh, operations and and getting you know resources and places to stay and so mm. just been volunteering and i've been doing that like a full-time job and so it's just been keeping me busy so mm. i get home i say hi to the wife and then i get into the world of warcraft <laughs> so so like hi honey uh, bye honey <laughs> oh, hi good seeing you and she's uh, but like probably like just yeah. go go play your just, game just go, go play your game get out of my way i'm watching my tv has so, she ever played stir actually just out of curiosity has she ever like sat down and you've you've explained mm -hmm. things or no well yes i've explained things mm -hmm. but she's like she's like mm, mm, no no okay no you, all right you you have your world okay yeah. i'll have mine yeah let's meet for dinner Can we meet for dinner you know <laughs> And, uh, and, uh, but no, she's, uh, she's more of a simple 
arcade kind of game player you know mm -hmm. and she loves pac-man and mm -hmm. and yeah. um you know those kind of games but mm. but um walking into the clutches of a fell reaver no that's just not her <laughs> doesn't want to experience that no <laughs> no no most of us i guess don't so we don't blame her but um yeah okay all right just... yeah, well what about you what about your week i mean wh My what i have week. done is i did I, I did mention the um the two tunes i've been working mm. on them mm -hmm. but uh but what about you okay so i i did uh i took the baby passy out and uh we went for a uh round trip around uh the lake over at uh western playlands like i said last week that is a damn good spot if you want to get away from doing new new tinker town uh obviously alliance side uh so my passy is a gnome rogue um so she hit 45 i think i did about two levels just it's one of those things and again i mean you don't because you're going around the lake there's literally about um, one two there's there's really two three spots you've gotta pay attention to the rest of the time you can be a bit more chill and you know i i find um I get home from work and when I eventually get to log into the game and if I'm doing the pacifist, always play, side note, always play a pacifist tune first. Do not hop onto a normal tune, do pacifist because you are not killing, okay? There's nothing worse than all of a sudden being on the pacifist and you go to kill something and you're like, oh no, 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 <laughs> it's pacifist, no, no, no. no don't, don't. <laughs> I want a I want a mulligan, a do over. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Yes. So um so yeah, so I, I took her up there and we go round and round and round and pick you know, pick some blind weed, pick a bit of uh king's blood, mine a bit of gold, mine a bit of iron, you know, it's a really good spot because there's not that many uh mobs that you need to be aware of there is a rare which you need to make sure you bypass that so um uh who was it the husk um the big green tree looking dude that's near um that's on the looking at the mount map it's like the south side as you're heading into the bridge to go over to Stratholme. um so yeah just be careful of him if you're a rogue or got stealth then you're fine otherwise you know there's ways you can get around him and swim around the lake just don't hit him sure. um and there's a couple of spider openings up the the north sides of the lake that there's some spiders that pat and you just i mean you can normally walk past and not be an issue but sometimes you might have to just you know just watch them and and pat across when they're not around so you don't aggro anything uh, so yeah, so that's where I've been hanging out over there and then of course when I feel like, you know, we go back to Iron Forge, we do some fishing and cooking dailies, then we pop down to New Tinker Town, listen to the music and be like, I'm home, uh, you know, go pick some Peace Bloom and, and log and, and, you know, all is, all is well. So that's, that's a good thing. Uh, and then I was playing my working girl, which is the tune that I'm on, as you can see, um, sitting on the fence there, um, you know, just looking, um, <laughs> just looking. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, just chilling out and all of that. So, um, we will... We've just been doing a bit of rare killing, a bit of daily killing, um, uh, a bit of um, daily stuff, and and um, yeah, managed to get a couple levels on her. So yay! So I'm yay. happy. Yeah. Oh, so cool. so it's all been very you know very chill. Um, is your camera frozen or is that me? No, it, it might be me. Might be you. That's all right. Because I'm like going. Yeah. Nobody's oh. breathing. Nobody's <laughs> no breathing. one's moving. Yeah. Everyone's very still. It's like everyone. I've just gone. We're playing statues. Freeze. And, and, and like, everyone wait, has. Who, who made me a turkey and then froze my screen? It's like 
that that's a pretty cool spell. That's a <laughs> that's a very powerful spell. Change someone into a turkey and, and freeze the screen. I love it. I love it. So uh, so yeah. So that anyway, that's that has been my my week of uh, challenge tunes. Um, so so yeah. So while you're you're sorting that out, I'll um I'll play our bumper for the news. Where's my bumper over here? Let's do this. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Breaking down news from the world of Warcraft. Thank you, Rogue Slayer. Alrighty. Um. Okay. So just a couple of things that we need to do. I'll um. Oh, what I'll do is I'll do... Nope, that's stirp. <laughs> Good one, Lita. Okay, I'll do that. You let me know when it's back up. There we go. Everyone can look at the pretty sky. Some of these, you know, some of the backgrounds that I have, guys, they're so pretty. I always thank Stone for setting setting those up, but there's so many pretty ones. Um. Okay, but news. So we've got a couple of things. Guess what time it is? Guess what time, what time it is? is it? it is Dark Moon Fair starts tonight! Yay! Yay! Dark Moon Fair. You Liz, know, do we need to tell the audience why Dark Moon Fair is so cool? It's probably a good idea because, again, you know, it's it's one of those things that um, we might have some new people, and if they don't know why Dark Moon Fair is so good i think it is a good idea to let you know and again you know what some people like doing this some people don't like doing it some people think it you know the time over effort might not be worth it hey each to their own we'll give you we'll tell you what we do i do this a lot obviously not for a bloodthirsty uh however you know for for other ones uh that's fine so for your irons, you know, passies is good, your your greens, tins, uh working men, you know, those tunes definitely. So they're they're all good for them. Um but yeah, so Dark Moon Fair starts. So do you do you want me to explain it? You're sorting your dance party out? Well, well, you know, one of the big things about okay, even if you're just a regular challenger, you're not you're not, you know, Iron Man and and mm. green and, and such. You, if for nothing else, especially if you just started a brand new tune, get over there because it's worth money. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, um, you know, follow the breadcrumb quest to get you there. That's worth that's worth um, some gold, and you can get yourself a 16 slot bag. Mm -hmm. And then, and then why don't you mention what why it's really cool for pacifists? Yes, well, absolutely. So, what I discovered uh, in particular last month, last month, I think it was last month, when I had the um, uh, one of the, uh, baby passy or the anyway, it was a tune. It was very low. Uh, so when I took off to um, to get some, I had had no money. And I needed to, I could, I could get the startup quest at about, I think we said it was about level four level. It was yeah. some like really like four. Yeah. yeah. Like four or five. There was something you could pick up the quest from in Stormwind, Ogremar, you know, it's like, here, go to Dark Moon Fair, give, give Syl the, you know, give them this, this, this ticket and we're going to give you some stuff. Um, so it, 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 so it took off down there and, you know, you hand it in, you get, you get five tickets and a lot of times, like if you're on a normal tune, those tickets, those tickets can do things that you can buy mounts, you can buy pets, you can buy toys, but on a challenge tune, you don't need that stuff. What you do need is you do kind of need some money because it's it's yes. hard to get gear because you've got to keep going you want to go to your vendors and you buy your white gear sometimes you know getting a weapon you might you might not get that in your drops that you do so you want to look at your vendors and and when you look and you're like i've got two silver okay it's going to cost me you know 80 silver to get all those pieces that i need i i can't afford it but if you go and you've got your five tickets, you can talk to. So it's the guy that you hand the ticket in. If you look at his 
buying tab, there is a Dark Moon storage box. And you can buy that for one ticket. Then you sell it back to him. So you buy it and then you can only, it's a unique thing. So you can only have one of these things on you at any one time. Sell it back to him. That'll give you two gold 50. Buy another one. Sell that back to him. Do it again and do it again. Now, normally by the time I get to the fifth ticket, I will buy that fifth one, but I will hang on to it because by that stage I might have like two six slot bags and I want a 16 slot bag. So I will, yes. I will keep the, the other one, but I have then got 10 gold that I can, if I need to go and buy some gear, if I hit level 20 and the whole four gold or whatever it is to buy a mount now, I've got enough to be able to do that. It just makes life a little bit easier. Even if I want to put something on the auction house and I'm like, oh, I've got some money to, you know, put a green on or things like that. So it is a very handy thing to have. You can do some of, um, as a pacifist, don't do the whack and all one. They count as kills. Probably not a good idea to do the cannon one because if you do fly over and you miss and you fall and you die. Okay, you're back up. Let me put that back up. There we go. Um, if you die, doesn't matter how you die, whether it's from you flying in the cannon or, you know, you falling off a cliff or whatever it is, a death is a death. So, um, yes. so those kind of things I, I don't do. As on a passy, I'll just go over, get your professions up to 75. You can do the profession quests. Again, they give you more, you know, tickets. So you can, again, buy and sell the bag and get yourself to, to go 50 extra. Or save up and, and get a pet. Like if it's a tune that you're going to keep around for a while. And then those pets, um, you know, you could sell the pet on the auction house. So there's, there's different ways to do it. You get experience. Oh, yeah. You get some rep stuff. Not that rep is a huge thing for a challenge tune. However, um, if it's rep stuff for your major cities, you can buy... 16 slug bags that's another thing so you know it's it's all of those things the the games sure. don't give xp that's right but they do give tickets and those tickets you can use to um again buy and sell that dark moon um storage box which is quite handy so dark moon fair will run for the week for me it starts this afternoon for you guys it probably starts like in the morning um Take, if you want to take advantage of it, absolutely. Now's the time to do it. Now, the other thing that we've got, which started, I'm going to say it started today, um, is the Thousand Boat Bash. <clears throat> and Zaya very oh. kindly, I know a couple of, of the mods all took off down there and, and did a little bit of research again for us. It's one of those, you know, micro events that happens. Um as I said that the entry quest was good, uh, was okay, there wasn't a problem. Mobs do scale. Be very careful. Some of yeah. them are are rough and probably on an iron you're gonna die. <coughs> he yeah. did and they're he, packed they're packed together on those boats too. Gotta mm -hmm. be careful. Yes. So again, it might be something that maybe you wanna pop over and just do that entry quest to get some XP and then leave it. You know, but if you give it a go and you die again, a death is a death. So, um, for me, that would be something. Normally, the micro events, I, I don't touch on a challenge tune. So, um, <coughs> there is a fishing one, Fair says, as well, which is good for a passy or, um, and the working man. But again, you know, just be very, very careful. Um, the easy <coughs> one is the, um, the bouncing beach ball that one's pretty easy because if you've ever done uh you know some of the other similar mm. ones uh, it's uh, doable and it's and the xp is just crazy mm -hmm. and you know we've got the winds of wisdom buff so you're getting double xp if it's something you want to go and try i'm pretty sure it was running for a couple of days 
so again check it out just be careful maybe take a scout tune over or if you've got a normal tune pop over have a look at it see if it's something that you want to do on your challenge tune uh obviously if you're bloodthirsty sorry no go don't bloods no love for the bloods ever sorry nisi ever ever but, uh, it's <laughs> so very sorry. sad no love for the bloods no love for the bloods <laughs> yep the bloods are loveless that's exactly right uh so yeah anyway um and the other thing that i wanted to mention is that uh we've got a our merchandise store is over at Spreadshirt. So if you want to have a look, there will be 15% off everything, which will be Friday the 12th of June, running um, from the Friday and the Saturday uh, the 13th of June. So if you want to get anything like cool coffee mugs, t-shirts, bags, there's apron, apron, which reminds me, apron apron yeah maybe, maybe like a cooking you know cooking apron oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, know in real life yeah yeah you know yeah. It channel my inner um you know like passy working do, doing the uh cooking dailies that kind of thing um yeah so pop on over there's there's 15 percent off which is uh the promo that's that's going to be on uh which would you know again anything that you guys get there's a percentage that comes and helps support us as the wow challenges which goes towards you know the things that we do which is website uh contest stuff you know the things that we we pay for and ultimately comes back to us um you guys helping us so again thank you to those that have done it and if you'd like to then that is there other than that, I think it is time for State of the Challenges. Man, geez, I get to waffle on sometimes. We're already we're already an hour in. And we're only oh, getting to this now. You, okay. You were on a roll. You were on a roll, so yeah. what the hell? Well, just, you know, I talk underwater sometimes, seriously. Okay. Uh, State of the Challenges. Uh, who have we go? Uh, go for it. So, it, number 10, our very own ashes hunter is at 79 some dude named hipster ism just dinged 90 oh, don't ferris know him. hunt <laughs> yeah um ferris hunt which i believe is um Winima, uh hit 91 uh contester another dude who is hogging the list um hit 94 assy iron at 101 Hunter at 102. Mm -hmm. Zaya. Oh, Zaya. 112, but he died. Oh, I remember, and that was early on in the week. It seems like he said something about he was, uh, uh, forgot about the AOE effects uh, wherever he was battling, and, and that nailed him. So mm. I'm so sorry, Zaya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carousel. Cell. Hey, dude. 117. Iron Bubble, also 119. Mm -hmm. And at first place, you, it, okay, people, sit down. First place, Assy at 119. Dude. Dude. Oh. It's like this has been a long time in the making. You well, take no. it the tune, easy. The tune, <laughs> the tune is actually not that old. It's just no, it's not calendar time. A long yes, time in the making. yes. But so we, we fingers are crossed with you, buddy. You yeah, know, we really want to see you doing one twenty. Can you just ding one twenty on like going to Dark Moon Fair, please? Like seriously, yeah. <laughs> just or just please take it zombies. easy. Just, yes. just just PBZ for the next yes. two years. Come Sweat. On. Come on. Sweat. <laughs> As he please, you know we're we are all behind you on this and um just just take it easy slow and steady if you have to be we know you are so yeah. close um yeah. but uh good luck good yeah. luck okay it's you can do luck. this you can well, do he's this got a new computer so absolutely he got rid of the he got rid of the junker <clears throat> mm -hmm. he's not had the dcs yes he's like okay dude 
Yes. You got you to do this. This right. Don't, that's exactly right. Don't let me get another 120. Yeah. For you. Your <laughs> no pressure. No. Pr don't give him any <laughs> pressure. Oh. Yeah. And and the uh, same goes to Iron Bubble as well, because you know, seriously, yeah. guys, we have got two of you sitting at 119. And we are sitting here just like on the seat, on the edge of our seats with nails gripping into the chair, just going, oh, guys, come on, yes. you can do and this. So you can do this. Good luck. And you can do our, this. Our professional editor, mm -hmm. Nisi, will reach out to you and get your life story of how you got to 120. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's worth it just for that. So, yes. come on. Do yes, it. absolutely. We love we love reading the stories. That's a definite. So, good luck, guys. Good luck. All right. Um. Now, bloods. What have we got? We've got at uh at number ten this week. We've got ball killer at fourteen. At number nine is Zantoric at fifteen. Eight is Kirky Kirky. At 23, sorry if I butcher the names, guys. You know, words are hard. Uh, number seven is Bloody Hunt at 24. Number six is a blue, blue elf, blue elf. Hmm, okay, at 24. Uh, number five, well, we know this is Cell <laughs> and Saw Cell at 47. Number four is Merlock Killer at 51. Uh, three this week is Cell because he does not have enough to do. Blood Cell at 56. Number two this week is Zaya BC. Think I got that right? At 64. Way to go, Zaya. And number one this week is Soul Snuffer at 112. <laughs> well done, Bloods. Well done. Yes. All right. There were no deaths either, were there? Like, no deaths yeah. on that. Exactly. Well done, Bloods. Excellent. All right. Excellent. All right. Well, Pacifist. At <laughs> number 10, some podcasting person named Passilita D is at 45. Mm. Zaya's Passy's at 52. At number 8, Fair Viola is at 54 at uh, level at or place number seven peace nick at 61 <laughs> farah pa is at 66 um zil no kill I, I don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but hey zil no kill starts with a z and ends with a kill <laughs> uh 78 <laughs> but unfortunately red flagged because they put in a strong fishing pole and let that sink in people a strong fishing pole now it might be a white item and you're looking at it and you go oh well it's a white item i can equip it because it, those are allowed but it had but if it has a green enchant as part of it mm -hmm. that green enchant will nail you it counts mm -hmm. blizzard reports it back as a as a green item so mm -hmm. even though it looks like a white item in the title if it's got a green enchant it counts yep. and so, mm -hmm. so poor guy i we feel for you. Seventy nine mm -hmm. is, is or seventy eight is really respectable, and mm -hmm. so that that hurts. That hurts. Yes. At uh, at number four, Passion Seven is at level eighty. Um, awesome Bloomster, no relation, is awesome. at, also at level eighty. Awesome. That's awesome. Is uh, go awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome Bloomster. At 80. Um, Ash's Passy. So Ash, you know, you you made it on the iron list. And now here you are on the Passy mm -hmm. list. Also in the 90s at 91. Mm -hmm. And then the best name on the planet for a pacifist, which happens to be pacifist, is at 112. Chris! Woo! Yeah. Take, and, and you know, I'm, I'm going to say this. We said this to Azzy just before. I'm looking right down the camera at you, girl. I hope you're looking at me because I'm saying to you, you take it easy. <laughs> no pressure. But we will want you to, to get to max. So please yeah. do not let the sewer beast throw your game. <laughs> all right? The sewer beast loves to hunt Chris down. It's like stalking her. So, yeah. um, so and, and just, too. 
Mm-hmm. Ash, yes. will, Ash will go to Stormwind to get a you know a bite to eat, and then boom, he's like, "Well, I'm dead." Yeah. The Stuart Beast jumps three blocks over and killed <laughs> me, and you're like, "Wait, what? what? <laughs> How? <laughs> okay." It's like, hey, yeah. like Jaws, <clears throat> sorry, like Jaws. You know how Jaws always remembered, like the, sh oh, the that, shark, it yes. was like remembered um, previous like I things that they were, uh, like I'm just, you know, going, it's been a while since I've, I've watched it. But one of the things was like, sharks, they never remember. But for Jaws, it was like, he remembered. Yes. Sewer it Beast remembers is exactly so, the same thing. Yeah, it Sewer remembers beast. you. <laughs> yeah, you just step into the city and it goes, I smell ash. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, dude, maybe you ought to get your food from Iron Forge or something. Mm -hmm. so don't, mm -hmm. don't exactly. Okay. Exactly. Ten, tens. We got it three tens this week. Uh, mm -hmm. Ten trap at level 19. Trilly, uh, let's see, Trill Totem is at 27. And Green Hunty is at 35 so congrats and it's good congrats. to see people using tens as a challenger because it's like well you killed off a tune well make it a 10 and keep mm -hmm. leveling it because then you can use it as a scout so mm -hmm. so it's a it's a good use of it so. exactly exactly tyra says there's no way to get hurt in iron forge um i'll tell you <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just say um not quite tyra yeah can but i'll leave that for after we've done state of the challenges and and we get to chit chat i'll, I'll tell you a little story um okay yeah, so, like, like like jumping into the lava like ac accidentally the doing something yeah. really stupid but anyway yeah, uh, yeah yeah anyway uh okay let's have a look at at uh greens so for the greens this week we have got at number 10 we've got ferris sham at 51 Number nine is completion at 53. However, not enough kills. So they're probably a yellow flag. So you guys need to go out, kill stuff. Go kill, 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 kill. All right. So there's a flag that's popping up there. So, um, so yeah, just get out and kill some stuff. Probably look at killing some stuff that's more level wise. So 53, where's a good spot to go? Silithus. Um, Blasted Lands. That's the that's the old zones. Stir. That'd be that'd be about right yeah. for a fifty three. Yeah, Swamp of Sorrows. You can. Yeah, Swamp of Sorrows is yeah. a great one. Winter Spring. That's yeah. So because you know oh, yes. the fun with the zones is uh is it is balking with the kill stuff a little bit. Um, okay, at number eight, I love this name. This is a great name. Is Hornet? I hope it's a hunter, and I hope it's somehow got a bee or a wasp as a pet. That would be awesome. They are sixty-nine this week, so congratulations. Number seven is Serafe at eighty-one. Number six is Crossbow. Another awesome name. You know what? It would be hilarious if they're a hunter and they've got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. Irony. Oh, irony. Yeah. irony, yeah, exactly. Or they're in su survival spec with Polum. That would be awesome. Uh, they hit 82 this week. Congratulations. Number five is Ferrarin at 83. Four is Life Stone at 92. Three is Cronus at uh, 103. Uh, two this week is Zaya Geta. Terra, get Terra at 104 Zaya. I'm sorry if I butcher your names. Apologies. Number one is Fair Hope at 115. So well done. Well done on those. All right. Let's have a look. Who have we got for working men? Well, we have at <laughs> uh, the ninth place a cargo at 14, level 14. We have Hurricane. Hey, by the way, hurricane season is starting in the Gulf Coast for those of you in the state. So, hey, uh, at level 16, Clearavan is at level 22. Lurks at 41. Someone who's podcasting. Again, these podcasters keep getting in on the list. Uh, Blue Lita at 46. What? What? Yeah. What's going on? That's crazy. Live, live from Goldshire. Um, 
not Nisi. No, <laughs> that always. Uh, Nisi, you have a fan. Um, mm -hmm. Not Nisi is at level 53. Zaya Wina is Wina. He's whining all the time. <laughs> Zaya's um, whining. Is, is, is whining. Well, it could be whining wine dining. He could be, maybe it's he alcohol. Could. Maybe he's drinking wine. Zaya. Yeah. You drinking wine so, while you're playing it, challenge tunes? Just saying. Wina, yeah. <laughs> or just whining about the, the all the chests out of winter spring have already been harvested. And, you know, <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that 76? Five. Oh, there's Fives Panda at level 98. And Verona is at 108. Nice. Nice. Yeah. You know. Well done, and, no, and, and no deaths. And no deaths. Absolutely. Well done, guys. Uh, you, I, you know, we, we can we can throw some, some jesting out there. Good good fun. You know, you, you guys know that we, we love you and we appreciate you guys out there having fun with your challenge tunes. But sometimes it's nice to be on this side. And we just, you know, we just like to send little things out to be like, you know, we heart you guys for all you do. But um, yes, do. yes. We so we appreciate if that. If we didn't tease you, we wouldn't. We, did, we don't love you. So yeah. You, you want to be teased. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> let's have a look at teams this week. So for the Iron Teams, we have got at number four. Oh, my God. What's this? What? 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 Tim Tam Slam and four is back, baby, at 42. So yes, yes, that's. That's us. Anyway, we, we, we're back. Uh, at number three, we've got Bulbasaur at 52. Uh, number two is back on track at 62. And number one is Light and Lightning at 95. Look at you guys. Look wow. at that going. Well done. Wow. Yes, think of the, teams are back. Think of the coordination <clears throat> to get to ninety-five with some other players. I mean, that's that's pretty good, and nobody yes. dying. And, nobody dying, uh, and I think I've got a feeling each of those is is uh, two two person teams. I don't think anyone has done um, has gotten too high on a three, four, or five. So. Um, Winema and Brian is light and lightning. Thank you. Yes, it is. So well, well done again. Well done, Irons. Uh, however, we've got no bloods or green teams this week, so none of those to report on. But again, guys, look, well done. Lots of leveling going right across all of the challenge. You know, all the challenges that we have. Um, commiserations to those that we lost. And obviously, well done to everyone who has uh, who's who is still green flagged and still leveling through to the yes. to to the few of you that are close close. Please take it easy. Please take it very yes. very easy, Azzy. Looking at you, dude. You can yes. do this. <laughs> and Iron no, Bubbles, not, not you can do this not, too. Yeah. Not naming any names, Azzy. Not naming any names at all, Azzy. Um, but yeah, okay, so you can do this. There we go. Heart you for that. All right. Ah, uh, where's my bumper? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got another toasty fire. It looks like you're standing in the fire. Are you standing in the fire? Are you watching the world I'm burn? Just, th this is a uh, a commercial that says midsummer. <laughs> is coming soon it so, is hey, it is right around, right around the corner yes midsummer exciting exciting one of my one of my favorite world events absolutely yes um okay all right what have we got we've got this one let's play it hey yo it's chit chat and it's the zots thank you zots love that Alrighty, uh, we have got chit chat, which is is that time. So, as we must start the our chit chat segment in, it's tradition. What more can I say? It's tradition. Let's play the bumper. Here it is. It's as he's pawn. So good. 
<laughs> so good. All right, I thought I'd give you a reprise from it this week, sir. I, I thought, oh, you know, thank you. I, I thought, well, we will, we, uh, I, I, I will do this this week. So, <clears throat> as his yeah. pun, here we go. This is from Azzy. So, you know, direct all complaints to his, de to his, Azzy's department. Uh, anyway, it says, if you think Thursdays are depressed, wait for two more days. It will be a Saturday. <laughs> uh, okay. Saturday. Not if you have, if you have to explain it then you're just you don't get it so okay ah, no. oh it's it's kind of cute it's, i, I it don't mind cute. it it's not gold it looks it looks it's, good it's not bad. I'll, I'll say that mm, yeah. Mm. yeah you know you've there's it's, it's right. not bad not bad okay. anyway uh dave okay. sent one in so, so you you do dave's let's see all right so this is from dave <laughs> mm-hmm if tomatoes, or tomatoes, depending on what part of the country you're from, mm -hmm. if tomatoes are technically a fruit, is ketchup a smoothie? Oh, my whole insides just went, mm, nope, where's, nope. Where's those cricket sounds you were making? Yep. Uh, it's, I, it, though it is true. It is. I mean, tomato is is a fruit. It is. It's not a vegetable. It is, it is a fruit. Yes. So technically, you could say. And you know what? The scary thing is, I have got two nephews, two nephews, not just one, two nephews. That doesn't matter what they're having when it comes to um, like dinner. Obviously, not dessert, but for dinner, they will put tomato sauce or ketchup on everything i'll have oh. gravy i'll make a nice white sauce i'll do all of this no get out the bulk tomato sauce Yikes. ketchup on everything so i could totally see them you know having ketchup as a smoothie that would not sure. you know would be something sure. but for me i'm just like no if you if you put ketchup on a steak just know that Zorts will shoot you in the back of the head. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen him do it. Just know that. So just warning. It's you. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you're gonna. I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm waiting for it. It's it's uh, yeah. yeah. We'll we'll see if it it, it happens. The response. Uh, okay. But anyway, thank you, thank you both, Azzy and Dave. Thank you very much. Uh, we do. <laughs> love to uh, love to see what you've sent in and again you know it, it look it brings great discussion we are all about discussion sometimes it brings a lot of laughs sometimes not so many but thank you guys we do appreciate that um okay uh now from rudolph we have got a question i think this was in discord from memory are dailies okay to do in the iron man challenge iron man we know is uh dailies there are many dailies stir aren't there yeah, many lots of them. many take dailies take advantage while you can however there may be some that you don't want to do so if you don't want to do them, you don't have to. But at the moment, right. at the moment, if there's if there's ones that you you know are doable to do, um, go out there and get that XP because they are. Yeah. It's it's nice to definitely nice to have. So um, so thank you for the Agreed. for the question. Absolutely. All <clears throat> right. Well, from from Cloud and Cloud is a, a newer challenger and. Um, They've uh, been asking a, a bunch of questions on Discord, which, by the way, we'll tell you right up front, we love questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got quite a crew of mods that monitor Discord, and they are they will bend over backwards to get uh, questions answered. And it doesn't matter if it's in the frequently asked questions. It doesn't matter. It's It, it, it creates dialogue, and it creates uh, folks, you know, to just... In fact, sometimes we get stumped, you know, because things change. You know, we mentioned earlier about expansions change the rules. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
uh, it, it's, it's quite all right to ask something. And so he asked, well, the site saying I forgot to select display character achievements to others, what is that? Or where is that? And that's mm -hmm. the little tiny, tiny little tick mark that you need to do in your settings. And you can find it in the game menu, in the interface, under social, and mm -hmm. just make sure that it's checked. And that's how it says. It says display character achievements to others. And you need to do that because if you don't, it seems like uh, Blizzard's um, data stream will, will do a lot of account uh, bound or account wide metrics Mm -hmm. that will report and so you go to the website and you don't have that checked and the website says dude you've got too many kills or you've got too many of this or that and it's probably because you just forgot to check that so just check it log off back in go to the website update again boom you're back in business so it's not a fatal mm -hmm. it doesn't disqualify you you won't get booted but you do have to do it if you want to be properly logged into the challenge yes absolutely and of course i fell off the uh fence there we go <clears throat> there we go right there next go. That, Look, what, what are you drinking is that I, wine I, I, no it's like espresso oh, shots it's, espresso it's shots dude <laughs> what of course i'm doing espresso shots <clears throat> yeah i do funny Funny side note, uh, we were, I had to go and have a, a, a look at a place yesterday for, for the, for the wedding. So yeah. And one of the thing mom said, mom, my mother says to me is, um, you know, we're going to need champagne for, for the toasts and stuff. And I've just gone, well, we don't drink. I don't care about you guys. Oh. Just line, just line me up right. espresso shots. We'll all do them. Yeah. The look I it. got was priceless, guys. It was it, it, utterly priceless. The look of a horror. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, mom, it can be water. <clears throat> Just raise a glass. It's like. <laughs> it, there was, and then, you know, that horrified look of what the, as in, what the hell do you mean there's not going to be any champagne? <laughs> and then the, that moment of, of, anger so the first was like the fear of what and the second was like you know because obviously she she realized i was i was uh you know being funny but yeah. um yeah sure. it was just like i was like priceless damn it i wish i had captured that moment and i'm like oh mother mother okay all right got you good got you real good so yeah it uh, there will be coffee there will be a I will be drinking coffee that's for certain so um so yeah um but anyway cloud again thank you I, and again guys yes we have got the FAQ we have got you know there are questions up on the website we've got discord the whole reason we've got a discord server is sure come and ask the questions if you can't find it if you're really not sure about something it is better to ask the question, no matter how how simple it might seem, it is better to ask a question, find out, and that way you're not gonna get yourself flagged or killed. Because what do you, you know, those whole times when you go, well, I'll just go do it. <clears throat> and I, I talk about this many times, many times. As soon as my gut says to me, you shouldn't do that later, or do you think you should do that? Is, is, is I can say to you 99% times, I end up dead, end up dead every single time. So if it is something that you're like, oh, I'm not sure about, put the tune away, go start another tune, jump on a different thing, find out the answer before you progress. <laughs> Because if it ends up bad that you get red flagged or you end up dying, you're done. Again, you're done. done. So, you know, it's it's better to take the time, get the answer, and then go from there. If it takes an hour or two, and again, guys, another thing, we have got real lives. We are not sitting on Discord or sitting on answering 24-7. Yes, we're there. But we do have real lives that we, you know, we have families, we have things that we've got to take care of. So if it takes us five minutes to answer an hour, sometimes it might be three hours because people sleep. We need sleep. 
as well just be patient okay because because yeah we're not robots we're not robots that's yeah. the and the thing. classic of course mm. is newer players will or mm. those that think they know better uh, will go to red ridge and you know we're not always mm -hmm. checking to see where the other players are online to see like are they in red ridge but so suddenly across guild chat they'll go well i'm dead mm -hmm. i woke up the wolves the sleeping wolves in red ridge or mm. or the cave you know there i got caught up in the cave or the the prisoners of war failed and i broke out of stealth and you're like how many yep. times have we said stay out of stay out of red mm -hmm. ridge is it's, now or that is it's like, not often that people successfully get through red ridge it it's no. it's a it is a rough zone and Again, with the way that the zone scales, there's no need for you to go to Red Ridge. Like, I mean, if you want to go to Red Ridge, okay, but if you end up dead, then please don't stand there and bitch and complain about stuff that we've been telling you about. It's like, well, don't go there. You've got other places sure. to go. So, sure. um, so it's just basically, you know, that's it's one of those things. If you ask questions and, and go for asking questions, we love questions. And what, you know, those people that ask a question, we might not know if it's a pacifist question we have or a blood question. You know, we've got a lot of people play that. We've, we've got people who specialize in playing those particular challenges as well as the irons as well as working man there's there's so many people with a lot of experience so um so yeah hop on into discord come on over if you're playing us and you want there's many chat you know there's many places you can come but one rest accord on the us is where we've got uh, both the horde and alliance guild obviously the alliance guild is is the main the main that we have uh because because that's what we've that was ugh, words are hard that's what we've got um yeah. but yeah yeah come on over come on over and um enjoy your challenges and sure. and you know have some fun have some fun with that have fun and keep asking questions mm. and, and and learn that's what we're all doing. that's right as we say you die you learn okay so, or if you get flagged for something that you're like, yeah, what did I do? Well, you know, there's always reasons why. So, um, so learn from it. Reroll, off you go again. That's that's the best way to to get your hands dirty is just keep going, which is which Rinse, is repeat. good. Mm. Anyway, I did have a story before we start um, saying all the thank oh, yous and okay. wrapping things sure. things up. I was going to give you the story of, now what was the story? Um, Tiber said about, oh, that's right, Ironforge. There's no way you can die in Ironforge. Okay. Oh, yeah. No okay, this is going back a little while ago, I must admit. I was on a Iron uh, uh, Iron Hunter, and I'm I'm running around Iron Forge. I'm making my way to the flight path, and it's one of those things where I'm I'm not a hundred percent exactly what happened, but it was before I realized that setting up my buttons, all my buttons, so my hunters' buttons are all the same on every single hunter that I have every configuration is exactly the same same with my warlocks same with my priest so if i hop on a priest and i go to hit you know um renew or smite it doesn't matter what key it's the same key every single time the same with the hunter the same with the warlock this was before i realized that i needed to do this and probably one of the contributing factors to why now i absolutely make sure that uh all of those tunes will stay the same key bindings i accidentally hit something that i wasn't supposed to hit which was disengage i was okay. facing the wrong way from the flight path so instead of facing um. the fi the flight master somehow i got myself turned around so the flight master was standing behind me and I think I was trying to work out well hang on where do I need to go I went to click on the flight master and instead of going down to okay well I need to go here I've bumped my mouse 
and its hit that was set up at the time, which would not have been dis disengaged, disengaged, and I went straight in the lava, right behind the flight path. There was no coming back from that because that's just no, not going to happen. There's, there's no, there's nothing to jump onto. There's, <laughs> you got four ticks before you burn up. Yes. So I am always super, super, super careful when I go to Iron Forge on, on any tune to make sure I'm facing <laughs> the flight master and making sure that all my key binds are exactly where they need to be. As I said, this is it is a couple years ago, but um, I have successfully not done that since. <laughs> so yeah. so well, that is had, that is the spot. Mm. You know that survival hunter? I had yes. disengage on <clears throat> the action bar, mm -hmm. and I was on the Zeppelin. I was doing the bombing run in Howling Fjord, mm -hmm. yes. and I accidentally hit or scraped the action key for disengage instead of throw a bomb, and it shot me off that Zeppelin and down oh. into the ocean. Now, fortunately, when you hit water, it's okay. You live mm -hmm. through it. Yes. And, I, and of course, you panic. You know, you're falling, and you're like, where did I put this, the goblin mm -hmm. glider? And so yes. After that, I said, no more of that disengage. That's, that, uh-uh. That's going to get me killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does have a habit of doing things like that for certain. But again, you know, we were talking about going back to pacifist. Like, if you want the absolute safest place to go for if you are an alliance pacifist you go to Donassus. absolutely every single Donassus quest for cooking and fishing best ones over there if it if you are a horde pacifist you go to thunderboff be very careful though if you've got to go and sneak around the bottom of thunderboff to pick up the gems there are uh sneaky sneaky cougars and some uh wolves and things that you got to be careful of but normally uh thun thunder bluff i find the best place so um again if yeah. you're trying pacifist go for it have that and as chris says if you are in stormwind <laughs> that sewer beast you know what that means you know what that means chris you need to go you need to go tame that on a hunter <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But if it ha if it happens, get a <clears throat> screenshot. We want it. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. Yes. Tiber does say you can drown on some of the Donassus fishing 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 quests, but other than that, really safe. Yes, it, just remember that uh, you need to breathe. So unless you're an undead warlock who, which you shouldn't be over there anyway, because you'd be dead. But uh, if you're a warlock, you can certainly, if you're high enough to have water breathing and put that on yourself, that's fine. Um, or otherwise, druid. or druid, yes. Uh, other than that, make sure you breathe. Make sure you check because there's nothing quite fun that uh, that you forget that you need to breathe and all of a sudden the screen goes flashing red and you're like, what's going on? Nothing's hitting me and you're dead. Not a fun thing to do, yeah. Huh. Mm. Well, it's about the time to wrap this up, huh? I think so. I think we're I think we're pretty much done. But again, guys, thank you, thank you for hanging out and uh, and having a chat with us. All right. Well, do you want to do the thank yous Ooh. to our Iron oh. Elite? <laughs> oh, so there's a bling in Goldshire. So thank you, whoever spawned a bling. There's a bling. Oh, hang on. I better there's can't. A bling. All right. Let's not be AFK. I, I, let's go let's, get. Let's. Let's, let's go get the bling. Grab we'll grab a bling because bling's good again. Not for a blood please don't do that let me see what did i get i got an encoded message what does it say let's have a look we're gonna read it massive shipment of alamo bots received disassembled and reconstructed as frag grenades okay thanks for that appreciate that okay, <laughs> okay. all right nice Let's go sit back on my spot. My other spot is right here. There we go. All right. Facing around. 
All right. Well, being the end of the show, this is where we like to take the opportunity to thank all of our folks who support the challenge and the and the, the you know the help and just there's so many people it by the way it takes a community to put on the podcast and to put on the web pages and the you know all the mods behind the scenes and mm -hmm. so any contributions no matter how you do it whether it's through uh you know the little bits here and there or through subscriptions or through uh we just really appreciate it so we do Thank you, guys. Um, and, and if you do contribute, you can, you know, go to the web pages and you can see how you can become a member of the Iron Elite. Mm -hmm. And that's just a designation we like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So without further ado, let's go through the list. Aliandras, Assy, Awesome Trousers, Boz, Cell, Chupa, <whistles> Crash Landing, Dave DeHunter, Execute, LB, Fur, Frasley, Sparkspan, Gaston, Grand Nagus, Kevy, uh, let's see, you know, there's always a few names that get you <laughs> when you're looking at it. Keyvamp, Chris, Chris, thank you so much, you know, mm -hmm. really. Lyson, Mr. Bright, uh, Nisi, you probably know Mr. Bright, uh, Mrs. <laughs> Rock Guru, <laughs> Mrs. Mickey, My, uh, and Mrs. Charming, never died, Nisi, Return Mother, let's see. Uh, Return that, of the Mac. Oh, is that what that is? Return yeah. Of the Mac, huh? Return of the Mac. Rude. Rude. Stone, who I would expect to get some feedback after this tonight's show. <laughs> um, <laughs> Swing Cat, Tiber, a.k.a. Tiber. Thule, Almenia, and, you know, especially Almenia. Dude, you've been working so much to keep the web pages going we appreciate it mm -hmm. when nema zaya and zorts and again you know thank you guys without you guys helping to you know keep all of this going uh we we truly appreciate it it, it does the contribution certainly help so anything that you give and again chris 22 months like dude seriously you're amazing thank you thank you sweetie Mwah. appreciate yeah. that very much lee uh but uh yeah pop over to the website if you do want to support this fine you don't have to if you don't you know just just likes and the retweets and all of that on twitter and social media certainly helps so we thank you for that uh now from stir myself uh and stone we do want to say thank you to our wonderful mods for all that they do because uh, some days in particular most days they certainly make our lives so much easier don't they sir it's uh we are yes they do. we appreciate you guys so much so to awesome trousers boz fair chris nisi zaya and zorts thank you guys so much for the things that you do for helping look after the community and of course all the bits and pieces with the website the forums discord you know being in the chat room here we do appreciate it so thank you to that and again alminia for all the things you do dude you are da man da, well what do we call him pebble <laughs> he da pebble uh but we thank you for the things for keeping everything going we know it gets a bit crazy sometimes but we do appreciate you alminia so thank you for that to everyone who's sitting uh listening in the chat room thank you very much uh for hanging out for those listening at at home uh on the podcast which sell thank you for bringing up a point and uh it may not be you sell i'm just gonna say that uh the podcast feed's been a bit off so i am uh, looking into that and we will get that sorted but thank you guys for hanging out, for listening. But uh, we just want to say, again, we appreciate you guys for doing that. Now, we will be there. I will be back next week, which will be Saturday, June 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Have got a very special guest next week. That will be Frasley Sparks Band himself. 
He will be coming uh, to join me, which that, is he's streaming at the moment. Be good. Uh, which be good. Uh, with Spaz, so they're over there playing something. So uh, so it'll be good to check how he's going. He's been playing an an iron, so I'm very excited about that. So thank you, Frasley, for popping in and seeing us earlier, and we look forward to catching up with him. Now, don't forget where you can find all of the things. Pop over to the website, which is wowchallenges.com. You can find the information for our Discord, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and the YouTube channels. Everything is over there. If you want to listen to the episode, uh, I've got a, I'm checking into it. We are, we do have access to the Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher Radio the rss feed is something's happened to it i'm not sure if it was with a change to the website uh but i'm getting that sorted so it will be sorted as soon as i can get to it uh but yes we do have access over to those ones uh, and you can certainly contact the show at podcast at wowchallenges.com if you've got some questions uh, you know, any tips and, and tricks and those kinds of things, send them through to us. Stir, where can we find you other than dancing on the fence in Goldshire <laughs> at the moment? <laughs> that's okay. So that's one place. Uh, look for the Santa suit, uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. usually in warm rest accord and usually with the stir name somewhere in the, in the name. Uh, but you can also find me on Discord, you know, the Wild Challenges channel. Just look for stir. I'm usually at the top of the list on the who the folks are online and uh, be glad to chat that's it absolutely and if you want to find me i am on twitter at lita at uh, sorry my throat's going so sorry uh at lita wow which is l w -E, e t a w o w you can also find me i'm lita on discord and uh you can check out the other show that i do with stone called adventures in azeroth uh, other than that, um, let's say some final thank yous. Who have we got? Okay. Okay. Well, as always, at the beginning of the show and at the end, we have a great intro and an outro. And the intro, you know, big thanks to Marconan. And you can find him on Twitter at Marconan Wow. And also to Epic Insanity for the outro. And you can Dang. find him on Twitter at Epic underscore Insanity as well as the frozen nerds podcast and so we, we we just really like to say thanks to those gents because they helped provide those and and awesome eh, friends get pretty 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 classy isn't it yeah, yeah. So, so thanks, guys. We, and every year they help moments. us so it's like yeah they do they so, do they are wonderful so you know show them some love and um we we appreciate their help and support so thank you well, it is it is that time. Uh, I think we need to wrap up the party in Goldshire uh, for the, everyone that came down. Again, yeah. it was just a quick impromptu. Um, thanks, guys, for hanging out with us today. And uh, again, welcome to all, all the newbies. Thank you. Have some fun with the challenges. Enjoy your time. Uh, just please stay safe. That's the big thing. Please stay safe both in and out of game and we will see you next week so take it easy say bye star bye see ya bye. don't want to be ya <laughs> bye the wow challenges podcast is a world of warcraft gaming podcast produced by stone and lita copyright 2020 portions of this podcast belong entirely to blizzard entertainment the music used for the show belongs to Kevin McLeod, and you can find his great stuff at incomputech.com. No copyright infringement is intended. All right, I'll, I'll give something to Stone to edit um, for later. <laughs> might as well all right well dance party is over so let's go with that uh okay show titles what have we got i i did write down a couple uh my first one all right ready my first one is my weapon went off 
<laughs> you remember when you said that? I was like, I that's do, so funny. You accidentally went off. It went off and you I accidentally you tagged it and you got your garrison. Yeah. That was like, that was yeah. good. Um, the other one I've got was where you went, like, you're like, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and death is just an inconvenience. I like that one too. Yeah. So those are the three yeah. I've got. Yeah. Let's go with the death is an inconvenience. That's, that's got a hooky kind of sound to it. Like, wait, what? Death what is. Mean it's inconvenient. Yes. Yes, that one's a, that one's a good run. All right. Well, again, guys, thank you everyone for hanging out. Thanks very much, guys. We will catch you next week. Have a great week. Have some fun, and uh, we will be back next week. And uh, yeah. we will see you all then. All righty. Yeah, stay safe. Wear a mask. Bye. Yes. Be safe. Be safe. Stay at Bye. home. Bye.